Godly Fasting, Isaiah 58, 1 to 10. Today's session invites us to wrestle with the prophet's challenging words, asking, how do we live in a line with God's spirit of justice and liberation? The opening words of Isaiah 51, 58, 1 says, shout out, do not hold back, lift up your voices like a trumpet. There's something urgent that Isaiah is trying to call attention to the reader. But is God talking to Isaiah and Isaiah delivering it to his listeners, readers, and for us today? Imagine this. What will mean to take literally what Isaiah is trying to say? Is he trying to say, don't fast, fast this way, or just give up the whole concept of the spiritual practice of fasting. So don't fast the way you have been doing it. That is what Isaiah is trying to draw attention. During this Lent season, we are practicing, some of us are giving up something. In my Catholic tradition, we learn that, we give it up. But I wondered if we have to take something, practice a, new, a good habit, a good spiritual practice. It is not about not eating, but letting others eat. It's about doing justice. That's what Isaiah is trying to draw attention, to be creative in doing the work of God's justice. Now, justice is about doing, making it right. Fasting, on the other side, is about not eating not allowing yourself to be contaminated. Fasting is a religious ritual, and in the main religions, they all use fasting. One, as an act of purification. Others, to prepare to seek the divine guidance. Others, as a ritual, to get favor from God. According to Hebrew Bible scholar Peter Atman, Isaiah 58, discussion of the practice of fasting is the longest in the Hebrew Bible, focusing on the misuse. It explains why the audience fast has not been leading into healing. Verse 3. This text links the specific cultic practice of fasting with the just acts of sharing bread with the hungry. Verse 7. Denying yourself food while remaining involved in unjust acts will not resolve in the favor of God. Simple as that. What is God telling us then through the Isaiah text? In the Isaiah text, again, justice means the simpler way of being equal and fair. In Hebrew, is the mish past. In it, we can find it 400 times in the Old Testament. It has to be a very important word. So we're trying to make it fair and equal to all. Grant people their rights, giving people what they are due. That's what the justice mishpast means. Now about fasting, in my own experience, in my late teens, as I participated in this beautiful Pentecostal Mennonite church, Fasting was very important. It is a way in which we measure our spirituality, how spiritual we were, how many times a week we will fast, how long it was. And we paid attention is that if that Sunday the pastor will say, next Sunday we are all fasting, guess what? We will show up fasting. And those three, four hours during worship, we were fasting, but we started at 6 o'clock a.m. and we'll finish at 6 p.m. And this was the time in which no water, nothing was allowed under a 95 weather temperature in Puerto Rico. So I have my misconceptions about fasting, but I still love it and believe in it as a spiritual discipline. The text, verse 1, 3, and 4, we can hear the voice of God shouting out, listen, pay attention to what God is trying to say. Verse 6, it is not this type of fasting that I choose. 
what God is having is saying is to the Jewish people, look, there are other ways, and this is not the way you are getting closer to me or closer to those in need. Now, justice is about truth-telling. The truth be told, the Mennonites in Ukraine doing World War II were not in the right side of history. These Mennonites aligned themselves with the Nazis in believing that it was in their protection to find liberation against the political system in Russia. Now, it's very easy to judge them from afar in not understanding the pressure and oppressions they were suffering. But it is true, and history does not lie. Now, does this sound familiar? Lose the bound of the injustice, free the oppressed, feed the hungry, take in the homeless, close the naked. This is the type of fasting we should look at. And this is the one that the prophet is indicating. But not only Isaiah, Amos, Hosea, and Micah said it, and Jesus taught it as well. As we find creative ways of truly doing justice as a way of our fasting, we will come closer to the true nature of God's character. What is God really concerned of? Is God really concerned of, uh, I'm not eating this and not eating that? Or God really concerned of my behavior and actions towards others? In my daily devotional book, Give Us This Day, as they were working again, Isaiah 58, they say, and I quote, let us not confuse prayer with self-improvement, finish quote. The devotional is warning us not to fashion a Lent that is about me. And we can get really busy about doing this and doing that and forget about being silent in the presence of God and identifying what is the action I have to take. So the fast Isaiah is describing is not about me, but about the injustice that I cannot allow myself to see. Verse 8 in the Isaiah 58 tells us, If you offer food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in darkness. Is our actions that speak? And this is the light that Isaiah is trying to portray. There's a difference between focusing on service, work, righteousness, and earning our salvation. Some still believe in that. Isaiah addresses the misconnection between the forms of worship and the behavior and not understanding the true nature of God's character. Let's go back to Isaiah 1 and listen again. Shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet, a voice of God to the prophet. But what about us today? Is it directed to us? Can we listen? Are we seeing? Now there are hopes and challenges in this text for us today. Join God at work in acts of justice. Can we join our voices today and say, may it be so. Que así sea. Amen. <laughs>